All right, hey guys. Um, today I want to do a book review for Karen, Karen A. Dahlman on the spirit of alchemy. If you guys have not gotten this, gotten this book, oh my God, get it. Um, pretty much. Um, es I think I'm saying this right. Um, Esoterotic, Esoterotic, Ouija. Um, this. It just, it's, it's an amazing book. Um, the, the stories that she shares, um, her imaginary friend, uh, breaking the chains of, uh, like, facing your inner demons, uh, confronting them, um, finding a, uh, balance within yourself, um, balancing the, the masculine, the feminine, and having them unite within yourself, um, it seriously is so amazing. Um, throughout the whole entire book, I, I could not stop. I could not stop reading it. It was, it's just so much. Um, you, you actually learn, um, from, I mean from the beginning of the book, you actually start to learn. Uh, the synchronicities that are, when you start reading the book, are just insanely amazing. Uh, um, you re really you uh, learn to receive messages from your source, higher self, source. Uh, you learn how to actually plug yourself in and stay plugged in. Um, it's just, it, it's seriously an amazing book. Um, this book in conjunction, in conjunction with uh, The Spirits of Ouija has taken my use of the board to an entirely different level. Um, I mean, she just sums it up, everything in this book, everything that, um, I have felt and thought for 20 years has been summed up in a book. Um, I love how she, you know, I love how she, you know, talks about how you have to go, you know, in the underworld, um, the underworld, the inner world, face your demons, uh, trans transmutate, transmute, um, all that into the positive, um, for example, she gives, a. oh my god, there's just so much that I could go on about, but she gives examples of, uh, you know, how you're, you, um, how you spiral when your life starts to spiral out of control. Um, all this is happening because you, um, the main, the main thing in this book though, um, is what I found for my own spiritual personal growth, um, but not only the heart to, the heart to hip meditation, um, is when you find that light, your, your light that you can, uh, ascend or whatever that word is, radi make it radiate out of your body. Um, it, it's, it's phenomenal. That is just, I mean, it, it's incredible. She has so many different stories about um, people being healed from the Ouija. Um, it just, it's, it is, um, well, I've heard a lot of people say that it is um, just basic alchemy. Um, I do agree, but I don't because this takes you, I mean, it's just, it takes you so, f so freaking further. Um, I really do, um, I, the nature of creation, um, illusions, her chapter on nature of evil, it's seriously fantastic. Um, it, when you really think about it, um, like, Lucifer really think about Lucifer, um, um, Azazel, uh, Venus, she goes into Venus, uh, in her book, in this book, and it's just phenomenal. Um, you're taught how to actually, you know, get, you know, get what you want out of life, uh, manifest your, your desires, um, through this book, through, uh, say you have a bad situation that's going on in your life, um, 
instead of and you know it, if it's not you know you can't remove yourself physically from the situation uh, you get to go in inside yourself and think okay what you know what am I doing um, what are these people doing um, so you kind of get to take a step back and actually see what is going on in particular situations um, even yourself um, when you actually take a, take a minute and just relax, meditate, and ask yourself, um, okay, say you are, um, in a really bad relationship or something, um, ask yourself, uh, what are you mirroring, mirroring, can't say that word right, inside yourself so strongly that it is going to vibrate back to you. Um, no, I'm not talking about the law of three. Um, it's just, it, it, it's so much more than the law of three. There's, there is no law of three. But when you actually do face your demons and you face all these things like the Ouija, um, she goes into the Zozo phenomena. And this is going to strike a lot of you. Okay, the Zozo phenomena. Um, from my understanding and my uh, own, what I'm gathering from this book is that Zozo is, okay, Carl Jung, um, famous philosopher, uh, psychologist, amazing guy, um, would consider him an archetype, which is uh, a embodiment of the human collective consciousness. And that, um, to me, Zozo would represent, okay, why am I attracting Zozo to the board? Um, Am I on, am I drinking heavily? Am I depressed? Um, am I going through divorces? Am I having bad relationships? Um, I just think Zozo represents the embodiment of a lot of negative, um, just a lot of negative negativity. Um, you don't have to talk to Zozo. Uh, go inside, if you do, go inside yourself. Um, ask yourself why you're you know, why? Why am I attracting this in my life right now? Um, who, like, say, uh, you're not getting along with your parents, I don't know. Um, step back, look, ask yourself, um, what, what am I seeing in them that I don't like that I'm doing personally? And that is a freaking amazing. I'm trying not to swear in my in my book reviews because I really respect her. Um, I just can't stress how you can connect with your guides. Um, you get like dreams and uh, sleeping dreams, waking dreams, uh, lucid dreaming. Um, you get to get back in touch with that inner your uh, imaginary friend um, that I'm sure everybody had when they're a child. Um, I had one, I still have one, and uh, my imaginary friend has not left. So that kind of tells me that, yeah, hey, um, he's kind of real, or she's kind of real. But I mean, just, it, it seriously, it's amazing. Um, it just, it, you know, the outer world uh, is exactly what we are vibrating um, if you're vibrating on a low level then that's what you're gonna attract um, you're gonna attract uh, misery and just blah uh, the higher you vibrate with um, higher entities um, your ancestors your guides your loved ones um, the more you focus on love and see the good within all the bad things, um, the duality, you start to see the beauty in life. And uh, I mean, th this is a very mundane thing that, you know, I was mowing the lawn and all of a sudden, boom, I see, literally see with my own eyes, all of my ancestors around me. Um, and that was just a confirmation from source, uh, my higher self, my guides that, you know, the spiritual world is um, very real, very real. 
um, it can be dangerous. Um, but once you move past the danger part, um, shed that, you literally become a new person. Um, everything like old friends, habits, uh, th they do die. They die off. And it, it, is, it is really just a seriously amazing book. Um, she talks about a lot of the, the feminine, the masculine, the feminine, of balancing that within yourself. Um, we all have uh, the masculine and feminine energy within ourselves. And we need to learn to balance that. Have them merge. Once that happens, once it merges, um, is the sacred uh, union. And it's, it's phenomenal. It seriously is phenomenal. But, um, okay, the back of the book is learn to receive messages from source, manifest the life of your dreams, transmute the paradox found in duality, unite masculine and feminine principles, transcend the space and time continuum, discover the golden key for transforming lead, lead, sorry, and connect with your spirit guides and your higher self. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this took me just took to another level with the Ouija. Um, God, extra es esoteric Ouija? Is that what I want to say? Okay, I think it's esoteric. Um, it's just, it is fantastic. And really, I find myself going back to this book daily. Um, it just, you know, find it, you know, open it up and turn to a page. And it just, it kind of fits and suits everything that, you know, you're going through. Um, the synchronicities that I have experienced are amazing. Um, I've, since this book, I've learned to talk to dolphins, <laughs> cats, dogs, uh, my higher self. It's really, it's, it's really good. Um, she touches on, oh, some very, uh, a very sad story that, uh, I can relate with because her friend had, uh, fibromyalgia, um, and the doctors always, you know, if they can't diagnose you, then you have this, you have that, you have ADD, you have fibromyalgia. My fibromyalgia has not been acting up at all. Um, I've asked for healing uh, through the board. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. I do, I do want to, it's, it's the law of attraction, but it's not, you know, think about it and wait. No, you have to think about it, get it in your mind, intent. Think about what you want. Think about that amazing life that you want. What do you want to do? What do you want to be? Um, and just let it. Let it happen. Make it happen. Um, confronting all your fears, your demons. Uh, and I really, really like the part um, where she talks about, and this is funny because when you send an email and it comes back to you and it says, mail your failure, mail failure, uh, you get a daemon. So, if you look inside a demon to find the daemon, I, I just, I love that. Um, after I read that section in the book, I'm like, oh, oh my god, it, it all makes sense. But really, uh, I mean, just balancing that feminine masculine, and it's still, I mean, I'm nowhere near <laughs> what Karen is, um, where she is in uh, spiritual enlightenment and advancement. Um, I'm nowhere near that, but um, this book is seriously a life changer, you guys. I mean, I can't, I don't even know. I was hesitant to even do this one because it's such a good book. Um, just using your imagination, journaling even. I never thought, you know, okay, I'm gonna write down my journals, or my thoughts. Never thought anything of it, and then boom, 
I go back and I read through and I see. I'm like, oh, well that makes a lot of sense now. Just the synchronicities and just techniques to plug in to source and to know that you're always, your guides are always with you. Um, regardless if you have a Ouija, um, if you talk to them through tarot, if you uh, channel them, um, you're always, always connected to source. Even if you don't think so, you are. Um, expanding light is what I was talking about earlier. Um, the hip to heart um, breathing techniques that she gives in uh, the spirits of Ouija. Um, that light. Use your imagination to let that light. And my light showed up right here. And it was blue. And whenever I experience that light, when I'm doing the heart, the hip to heart meditation, it's like it's a giant blue and I feel it. It vibrates my skin. I can feel it expanding all throughout my body. And I let that expand to heal others. Um, I do it when I right before I Ouija. That's seriously amazing. Um, your higher self, your spirit guides, your angels, source, only want the best for you. If you are having negative entities come through your board, telling you to do things, telling you things that are kind of not good, those aren't good. Uh, you don't want to talk to these things. Why? When you can talk to... I mean, God, sentient beings that are alive. Um, you can talk to dolphins, cats, uh, dogs. Um, I've talked to my dog now, and it's like we have a better connection, a better relationship. Um, I look at him and I can kind of tell, okay, uh, this is what's going on. And it's simply, seriously amazing. Um, the sacred marriage, um, which is, I kind of, uh, see a co co what am I trying to say? A synchronicity, a, uh, yeah, parallel with, um, the sacred marriage and, um, the great right, um, that's kind of what I'm comparing that with. Um, it just, it all coincides, all of it. Um, union by the Oracle, Union by Dream. It's so amazing. Um, she goes into the Christ consciousness, God consciousness. We all have that divine spark within us to create our lives. Um, we have uh, the power of appreciation, techni techniques to neutralize. Um, what are you appreciative for? Well, for one, I'm appreciative for Karen. <laughs> for making, I mean, literally my life was... I mean, my life was good. But I've never, ever expected it to be this good. Um, the power of appreciation. Transmuting the paradox. Um, it's just, it's seriously amazing. You get taught um, how to reclaim... Um, the imaginal realm in your head and it's just it takes you back to childhood it really does uh, the sacred heart the sacred bone um, reclaiming the feminine principle it is just everything in this book is fantastic but there was one thing in here and I'm not finding it right now um, her friend, her friend had, yeah, okay, I told you her friend had fibromyalgia. Um, I had a really, really cool experience, um, with a woman when I was very young. Um, she came into my life out of nowhere. Um, this is when the internet first came out, so we had dial up, guys. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have any of that good stuff now. Um, this is when, yeah, uh, this woman came into my life like Karen's friend came into hers, uh, Juanita. And mine was, uh, Anne. And it's sad because, um, 
and Juanita gave Karen the the gifts of the goddess. Um, you have to read the book to find that out. <laughs> but um, in in that chapter, though, in that section, I was kind of correlating and just thinking, you know, what, how is this pertaining to my life? And boom, all of a sudden I remember that, you know, I had a great friend, a teacher, that was teaching me witchcraft back when I was like 10, uh, 11, 12. Um, she had sent me a book, um, and I never ever heard from her again. She did, uh, she did pass from cancer, so, but I mean, it's healing, it's very healing, so with this book, I have learned, um, to balance, uh, the feminine in me rules more, uh, but again, I have the masculine, so it's a work in progress to kind of balance these inside yourself. But it's amazing once you connect, to connect with that source, and no source is not going away. Know your, your spirit guides, uh, your uh, angels, they're not going anywhere. They all want the best for you, and that's it. Um, once you can actually start to stop, look around um, in a negative situation, find the good within that negative situation. You can start to transform your entire life. Um, you can live that life you want. It's not going to come by magic, um, but it is, it's, it's going to happen. But you have to make it happen. So it's not this whole, uh, the secret deal. No, not at all. This, this goes way beyond, way, way beyond. But, I just, I cannot stress enough to people that are commenting on wanting to talk to Zozo, why? Do you want to, like, be down there when you can be up here vibrating? And it, it, it's almost like a natural, um, I don't want to say hi, because I think that word is kind of degrading, and uh, it doesn't describe what, what Karen teaches. Empowered. That we talked about that too. Thank you, Karen. Empowered is the best word to describe what I've gotten from this book. Um, it's just it, it's seriously amazing. So I I highly recommend get the book. <laughs> get the book. Read the book. Um, a lot of people, you know, get the books, read the books, and then just you know, okay, I'm done with it. This is a lifelong journey, and it's fantastic. So, um, I think I've covered... Oh, pants are not doing right. I think I've actually covered everything I want to cover from the book. So yeah, you can see right there. Just, it's amazing. It seriously is. It really is just everything everything makes so much more sense um, life makes more sense uh, I can see the beauty in a bird's nest the craftsmanship that you know the bird you know takes it takes the mother and the father and I watch them daily and I post you know pictures of their progress and I also see that Karen you know, has that small little nest with the hummingbird, and she's posting progress on them too, and it's just fantastic, the, the synchronicities, but it is, it's, it's good, it's a good deal. I think that, uh, that book, um, I think her, Karen, is going to change, uh, the way we see the Ouija, um, the way we see our lives, the way we see ourselves. Our relationships um, are going to improve. Mine are improving with my family. Um, it's just, it takes a lot of time, but it is worth it. I promise. Once you just really realize that you're in control, it's you. 
uh, you have that divine spark within yourself, that golden thread. And um, I'm working, still working on myself, big time. But I've come a long, long way. And with the help of her, I would not be doing a lot of things. Um, I, I would share some personal stories, but I don't feel they're, uh, at this time, I, my, my guides tell me, no, don't share these personal stories as of now. So I'm going to follow that gut instinct and not share them. Um, I may blog them one day, maybe five years from now, five minutes. Um, whenever spirit wants and source wants, whenever I'm comfortable. So it's, it's, it's really about reclaiming your power because you are one powerful human being. So, um, Karen, I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart for this book. Um, I know, you know, we talk briefly in short conversations here and there, but um, you almost make me want to tear up. <laughs> it really is. It's changed my life for the better. Also, she goes into uh, Bible, Bible theories, um, things within the Bible. Who says that God, God gave just one small select elite minority of people the gift of uh, Oh, channeling, uh, channeling spirit, talking to spirit. It's for everybody. Everybody has these gifts. Everybody can learn to develop them. Meditation, practice. Um, balancing yourself, uh, finding the duality within yourself. And it just, I could go on and on and on. Like I did with Ouija, the, the spirits of Ouija, but I think you guys kind of get my drift on how fantastic and life-changing these books are. So, I'm almost at a 30-minute session here, so that's, that's the Spirits of Alchemy. The Sacred Reunion. Sacred Marriage. So, I highly suggest that you go out and you get this book, because, I, yeah, your life won't be the same. You're going to see the good, the great. Um, the possibilities, again, are endless, infinite possibilities. And I am just very grateful and appreciative for everything that Karen has done for me, to help me, um, to better myself spiritually. Um, you know how to, you, your gay boys love you, Karen. Your gay boys love you. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. But, alright guys. Um, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I promise. So, yes. Just go get the book. Um, www.creativevisionspublications.com for a um, signed autographed copy of the book. You can get it on Amazon. Um, no. Why? Why? You, when you can get a signed copy. That's just my, my little opinion there, but... Alright guys, thank you again for watching. Um, those of you that do go out and get this book, I really hope. Um, I, I really want to hear some feedback. I really do. It's going to be fantastic. So, everybody have a great day. Um, I love you all very, very much. And thank you again. And Karen, thank you so much. So, so much. You are seriously a godsend. But alright guys, I love you all very much and thank you.